The last icon which is missing is this settings icon. And there is a good reason for this to be the last icon, because it's quite complicated. So start with the background shape and move it next to the icon. We will start with this background gradient from the lighter gray to the darker gray. So change the fill to gradient fill. Select the first stop, set it to some lighter gray, maybe this one, and the second stop and change it to darker gray, maybe this one. Okay, I think the colors are pretty similar. So hide this rounded rectangle and draw this circle. So insert new shapes, new over, draw it with the shift key pressed. Position properly, set the line to no line and fill maybe to gradient fill. I think that this color may be plain, but it will look better if we will make a you know, gradient from some darker gray to a little bit more darker on the top. So on the top we will make this color a little bit darker, just like this. It will look better. I will maybe make it just a little bit bigger, hide it, and we can move to this wheel. We will use the similar trick as we have used for the Safari icon. That is, we will insert a new text box with the shift key press, so it is a rectangle. Set the margins to zero for every direction. Outline to no outline, fill to no fill, and we will insert a symbol from the font Webdings, or maybe Windings 2 or 3. Windings 3, that will be this triangle icon. And because those triangles in the in the wheel are kind of you know distorted, they are thinner, we will select this, jump into the font settings and set the scale to maybe 30% or so. And we, I mean also we want to have some spacing in between those so in we will insert two, three, four, five, maybe five spaces select everything and paste it multiple times just like this now we will jump into the format and here in the word art styles we will set the transform to circle you can see that those spikes are pretty small so to adjust the size we don't need to play with the font size settings but instead we have to have less of those spikes. So if we delete few, even more you can see that it will, they will get bigger, just like this. So we can set the fill to gradient fill and we will set it to the same gradient fill as we have used for the background that is from this lighter gray to a dark gray. We will insert new oval like this. Set the fill to no fill, outline to the same gradient line, we have to define it again. That is from this darker to this lighter gray. Make it wider, it is set a bit to some bigger number. And I will probably show those two so we can play with the settings even more. And we can see that this should be probably thinner and the spikes should be thicker. That is, we will add an outline for this text. And if we do so, you will see that they will not be, you know, that spiky. So if we set the gradient, la, uh, gradient fill, uh, sorry, gradient outline for this text, make it the same gradient, you can see that it looks more like the wheel, which is on the original icon. You can even resize it a little bit little bit like this. Position it properly. Also the oval. Maybe zoom out. I think I think that this looks fine. So I will select those two shapes, copy paste it, move it to the right spot. Now you want to resize it to match the inner size. So I will hide this those shapes, resize this group, and 
one way one way you want to do is to select every shape which you have and move it a little bit to the side because we want a visual comparison between those two icons that is for this inner shape we'll maybe make it a little bit bigger and we may also want to you know reverse the gradient that would be from the darker to the lighter one so we will change the fill angle settings and outlay settings to 270 for both the circle and this text here we will change it from the 270 to 90 like this and maybe this bottom part shouldn't be that light so we will maybe adjust this gradient so this lighter color stuff will be a little bit darker and we will do the same here and also for this circle so we will change this lighter gradient stuff to a little bit darker so it's less visible and less apparent so the last two things are this triangle and this circle in the middle for the triangle we will draw it as one shape so we can use the gradient fill if we would uh, make it from three separate shapes we would have to adjust the fill in quite complicated way so we will insert a new freeform shape start drawing here to here to here back to in, into the middle to this point and press the enter key to get rid of those, this spike we have to set the joint type to round or bevel and we will also raise the width to some bigger number like 3 change the line to gradient line set the same fill as for every other shape that is this one adjust the angle it will be probably 270 maybe different move it to our icon like this you can see that we have to adjust this angle just a little bit so those two colors do match like this and the very last thing is this circle in the middle so we will insert new circle set the fill color to some dark gray and the outline color to some lighter gray and we will have to guess this color so we will set some color and you can see that almost the same color so this is fine the last thing which we need to do is to sell, just to select everything group it together rename it to settings icon and move it to the first page 